This video is a joke. This rabbit is as lazy as it gets, bro. She doesn't even open her eyes when she's smoking, fools. Eyes sealed as tight as Frost Nova's coffin. She will still put you in a spliff. Hitting whatever she wants like that. Swear the day she opens her eyes, she will be able to see anything. Maybe she can go and find Aya's parents. Just joking, they are hiding together with Texas's personality. F's in the chat for F eater. That back pain must be crazy. Listen, recently I watched the Joe Joyce and Gilei Zhang fight, and the sounds of their punches connecting probably is very similar to what you hear when F eater walks. Whatever she pays for her medical insurance, it's not high enough. Nothing is gonna cover those back surgery bills. Those DDs put the L into F eater. W. Grey is only here because of his tragic backstory, let's be real. He is the Agnet's equivalent of those knobheads who go and audition in a talent show, but start off by listing off every single trauma they have ever had in their lives. Please, Simon Cowell, my parents died, so you have to let me join Rhodes Island. I am infected, so you have to give me an altar. My parents died and I'm infected. I need a Christmas skin for both me and my altar. Who gave a terminally ill child a chainsaw? That's some make-a-wish type of stuff. Hey kid, usually we send out the Avengers, but tomorrow you will be sent to a pharmaceutical company. Oh wow, will I become a doctor? Even better. Say, what's your experience in melee combat? The child soldier stuff is actually pretty messed up already, but if you already do that, then at least give them some actual weapons and not a piece of woodwork equipment. This vacuum cleaner is thicker than 62.5% of our operators. Not that I'm complaining, but there really was no reason to give our smart Roomba an arse with its own gravitational orbit. Speaking of smart, do you think that you can play Skyrim on this thing? And yes, I am actively avoiding talking about what the trunk do. Everybody thinks that Shaw's fast way of talking is endearing and whatnot, but imagine having to listen to this for every single day at work. It's like the radio during Christmas time when half of the world's music records turn into bloody Mariah Carey. Imagine that, but they only play the nightcore version of the song and they also play it when it's not Christmas and you can't turn off the radio and there's a radio in your walls. You just rock up to the office like, yo, this meeting could have been an email and in the corner you have MC Squirrel Liar Carrie freestyling over the screams of agony your co-workers are giving off. Nobody cares about Scavenger, but everybody at least once in their lives thought what kind of assassin carries around a weapon bigger than their own spinal cord. Yo, imagine trying to rob a bank and your homie just rocks up in a full 15th century gothic armor. For God's sake, the renaissance fair is next week, Russell. But her skin is insanely good. Major berserk vibes. I would love to sacrifice my friends with something like that in the background. Yo, we joke a lot about our operators being former war criminals and stuff, but imagine being so evil that you just decide, nah, I have to redeem myself by becoming a doctor and using my sword to heal people. How the hell does that even work? Work. No, no, believe me, I am a doctor. Yes, I have to bring my sword to the surgery room. I swear that's what they teach you in Yale. What the hell is an antibiotic? Listen, as somebody who has started drinking at the age of 15 and only recently got away from it, I can relate to a lot of the struggles these girls are going through. Apart from the sudden outbreaks of violence and the biting of other people and the reading of books. Gross. But listen here, if I manage to quit liquid happiness, then you should be able to do the same. There's no need to plan out how to overthrow the government, just because you got some horrible psychological traumas from what happened in Chernobyl. We don't talk about what happened in Chernobyl. It would not hurt this moose to smile every now and then, would it? Oh, my entire tribe was wiped out. Fam, Grey lost his parents and he went on a talent show. It's not our fault that your mom is a legendary animal in Red Dead Redemption 2, Firewatch. On the real though, she is cute as hell and actually one of the designs I genuinely just love. And here we have one of the reasons Firewatch hates her life. Allegedly. Meteorita is a type of girl to have grown men sending her voice messengers of them barking on Instagram. But why does the moose hate her? Best answer gets pinned. Let's get it. I have a thing for Latin American grandmas, but... Bang.
Beans worth though. Those brows are crazy. Heinz Beans thinks of them as competition. British people see them and think about toast. I swear those things are so big, they're gonna get an altar before Shining and a skin before Mato Imaru. They are so thick, somebody has defo commissioned loot out of them. Kuwara is that common type of dumbass who is very endearing in the beginning. You smile when she walks into a wall or uses a fork to comb her hair. Ha, <laughs> classic Kuwara at the lunch table again. But after a couple of months, you just hope that this donut goes somewhere else. Like, maybe you're lucky and she just forgets who you are. Or she accidentally walks off a cliff. But then again, you would feel kind of bad for that. The same way you would feel bad for your hamster if it accidentally drowns itself or something. Where the hell is the cardigan on this cardigan? That's just kind of weird. Let's hope she gets one in her E2 art. <laughs> How did you mess that up, Cardigan? Yo, when she filled out the papers to join Rhodes Island, she probably mistook the fields of what do you want to wear and what do you want to be called. Like, I want to wear a cardigan and I want to be called Diving Goggles. Well, look at you now, you muppet. Yo, they should add a new stat in the operator files. Literacy. Options? Yes. No. Cardigan. And Diving Goggles is therefore something Ark Knights operators would be called. I know only like 10% of you gacha gamers will get this, but Bee Hunter literally is the UFC turned into an anime girl. The looks of Habib, the voice of John Jones and the alcoholism of Connor. Now give her Izzy's feet and we have the perfect woman. Apart from the fact that she got a middle schooler drunk. That was kind of weird. Yo, the way Hayes talks, she had a bit too much of that Hayes. Swear she doesn't do that whole Nya talk because she wants to be somebody's Discord kitten. She is just completely tapped in the head because of all of the things she inhales. How do we know that that is true? Look man, she comes from a colony of witches that live in the forest. That's just a code name for a colony of hippies that sit around in nature and roll blunts all day or whatever weird thing hippies do. And then they were destroyed in a drug bust and that's why she was arrested. When she then escaped prison and Gigi found her in a light spark in the darkness, she was like, I need a nickname for you. I'm just gonna refer to you by all of the haze that you come with. And that's where we are now. Ark Knight's fact of the day, Zaza is illegal in Victoria. This woman looks dead inside. If you pay close attention to the people around you, you will see many people put on a smile like this. Just like smiling through the pain. From the janitor who has to clean up somebody's thrown up, to the construction worker who got heavy back pain from their job but will never be able to afford treatment, or the taxi driver who has to continue doing their job despite being well over 70. A list like this could go on and on. Remember, everybody out there is going through their own kinds of struggles, fighting their own battles. Always treat people with respect and kindness. Like real talk, I feel so bad for her. If she stole my wallet, I would let her go and just steal somebody else's wallet for myself. On my life, she is the most normal one of the Silver Ash siblings and she is not normal. Yo, imagine giving birth to three people and the least cringe one is the one who goes out mountain climbing with her midriff out and then gets infected. I mean, congratulations to their parents. They probably are proud of how special their spawnlings are. Just kidding, they're dead. I don't want to know just how many STDs this man has. Midnight gotta be riddled with syphilis. And the mad thing is, he's the type of guy to use that in order to riz up girls. Hey girl, do you want to start? Cause I already got the STD. All I need is you. And then Catapult kicks him in the nuts and a laughing track plays or something. I don't know, I don't watch a lot of radio. But well done King, carry your chlamydia with pride. Plume is literally the only operator I have nothing to say about. And while you wait for part 3 to come out, come and watch my streams, now click on this, way more haha -ha there. Cheers!